Bible verses about complaining, part 1. Philippians 2, 14. Do all things without grumbling or disputing. James 5, 9. Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. 1 Peter 4, 9. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. 1 Corinthians 10, 10. Nor grumble as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Ephesians 4, 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Exodus 16, 8. And Moses said, When the Lord gives you in the evening meat to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, because the Lord has heard your grumbling, that you grumble against him. What are we? Your grumbling is not against us, but against the Lord. Psalm 106, 25. They murmured in their tents and did not obey the voice of the Lord. Philippians 2, 14 through 16. Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Romans 8, 28 And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Thank you, Father, for your true word that is alive today and working in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you have told us and shown us that we should not complain because we have so much to be grateful for. Lord, please forgive us for complaining and grumbling against you and against the things that are going on in our lives. Allow us to see the good things and to give you honor and glory and praise for everything that you're doing that we can't see. We love and we trust you, Lord, and it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Saturday. You can also find us on Instagram at livingtruthco. Thank you for the support. God bless you.